it. I drove really far to get here, so. I think that this is the spot. Because I don't think anybody's been through these yet. So we got Spider Man, Star Wars, Bounty Hunters, Winter, Winter Guard. everybody before i forget first things first shout out to department of comics with agent de camp that is the youtube channel that i viewed before making this video and here's the deal so i went out to this location as you can see on the video that's a little further out i mean it's 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 a bit of a drive um i stopped going there a while back because for over a year every time i went there they had nothing so i decided today got a wild here I decided to drive out there and check him out and luckily today they did have something so it wasn't a waste of trip but what happened when I got there was it kind of kind of got me thinking um, the selection at that location is different than the selection I saw the other two locations now I've been to about six Walmarts so far looking for these books and out of all six only three of them had comic books but all three locations had different books now you might say, well, maybe they were just sold out of the ones that you are looking at. No, I'm talking like completely different books, maybe one or two the same, but um, just like almost as if they got different shipments. Okay, they're all seven for 10, but they just, you know, just different selections. Um, when I went to that, that uh, went to do some research, I should say, and I went to that gentleman's uh, channel, he had a bunch of books that were seven for 10 that I haven't seen. I haven't even seen at the stores, you know, I saw one or two, but there's a couple that I didn't see. So right now from just doing a quick count from, from um, what I've collected and what I've seen on his site and uh, some other, I mean, I'm sorry, his, um, his video, there's at least at the very least 17 of these packs. Okay. 17. Now there might be, there might be more. I'm, I'm going to guess there's probably 20 or, or whatever, but at the very least, there's 17 of these packs out there. Now, I love to buy these packs. You know that. I love to open them. You know that as well. But I'm going to have to be a little more discretionary in my buying of these because that's 170 bucks on comic books. And I don't know what I'm getting in these packs. And you know that. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and open these today. See what we've got in, in these packs. Um, but I'm going to be a little more picky when it comes to selecting these packs. If it's something that has on the cover something that I already have, I probably will not be picking it up. If it's something that um, I'm like super not interested in, I'm not going to blow the the ten dollars um, because you know the cover book is gonna what's gonna attract me, what's on the cover. So um, usually I would just buy up everything, but you know, like I said, I'm gonna be a little more um, you know picky this time around. Call me cheap, but listen, I'm not a uh, million dollar YouTuber, okay? I ain't those Paul boys or whoever. I'm not, I don't got that kind of flow. So unfortunately, I can't be buying them all up. So I'm going to be a little more pickier. But hopefully by doing this, I'll open up some books. And listen, if I find some that's like super hot, then of course my dumb ass will go out and start buying them up again. Um, but so far, everything's been kind of pedestrian. Um, cool stuff, but nothing that really is going to break the bank or, you know, make me want to go out and, you know, just snatch them all up. Okay. So that being said, um, let's go to open up this pack right here. Um, this one, I'm going to tell you something. This one really stood out to me. I love this cover. I dig black, not black, I'm sorry. I dig, dig like sketch covers. I like those. Um, this is somewhere in between. It's kind of a sketch, kind of a black and white. I mean, it's, I just like it. It's Jim Chung's art. So I do like it a lot. And, um, I thought it was a really good silver surfer. So I was really happy to pick this one up. And uh, I don't mind spending the $10 just to get this cover. I know the book's probably not worth $10, but to me, at least there's one book in there that I'm, you know, I really wanted. The other pack I picked up was this Spider-Man 75. 
Scotty Young cover. I'm not a big Scotty Young collector. I do like his art. I think it's kind of cool, but I don't really buy his books for the covers. I mean, the cover art um, books that he does cover art with. You know what I mean? But this particular one, I believe, um, you know, the, this is 7 for 10 pack. I believe this cover alone, this variant cover, is probably at least a $7 cover, you know, um, book. You know, at least $7, $8. So I think right there in itself, this is worth picking up. Okay, depending on the condition of it, of course. Um, what I do dig about the pack so far is that every single one of them has a variant cover, um, either whether it be a Walmart cover or these are two covers you could have bought at the comic book store. Okay, but um, I like that. I like the fact that, I mean, they're still doing variants. It just might not be a Walmart exclusive variant. It's just a variant of some sort. Okay, so let's go and open up this one right here and see what we got. So with so many packs, like I said, I mean, there's probably, because I saw another video and I'm not sure when that video was posted. Um, it was a short, so I couldn't tell if they got those books a while back and decided to open them or what. But, um, I, so I can't verify that, but at least with these and what I said, the video I saw with Department of Comics with Agent DeCamp is that I'm counting 17 books. 17 packs, I should say. That's a lot of packs, guys. So, all right. Like I said, this one here, I really dig a lot. This silver, silver cover. Love it. Okay. Worth worth the pickup. All right. Death of Doctor Strange and War of the Bounty Hunters. A pack I've bought in the past and a pack I skipped in the past because I'm not a big Doctor Strange fan. I do like the character. I like him in the movies. I like him in the comics as an as a supporting character. I just have never been a big fan of his um, single stories. It's not my bag, but he's a cool character for Marvel. Having that Sorcerer Supreme there comes in handy. Okay, let's take a look here. All right. Of course, the Death of Doctor Strange. <clears throat> and we have Savage Avengers number four. All right. A second printing. Now, that's the thing about these packs that I, I do dig. Second printings and variants. That's what, or sometimes, I think I got a third printing one time. I really, really dig that, that you get these, these kind of um, books in there. So, there's a chance, there's a chance of getting something that might end up being rare. There's a chance. So, saying there's a chance. All right. Another incoming, number one. I have like three of these. All right, so let's put this aside and let's go ahead and open up War of the Bounty Hunters. Another book that I do own with Boosh, Bausch, however you want to pronounce it. Before Princess Leia stole her, his identity or her identity, that's the character. All right, so this is a, pre this is a pretty old pack. Um, this is, goes back a ways. So let's see here. Cross of Swords, X of Swords, Ten of Swords, X Force. Alrighty. And then the Cosmic Ghost Rider destroys the Marvel <laughs> destroys Marvel history. Alright. Well that is different. Don't have this one. Don't have anything with the Cosmic Ghost Rider. I think the character is pretty <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty cool character. It's 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 out there. It really is, you know. But um interesting. All right, let's see here. All right, so we open up that one. That was nice and quick. So let's go ahead and check out The Amazing Spider-Man, number 75. And we'll call that for the day. Alrighty. Okay, like I said, this one, they only had one of these there. Where the other ones that had a couple of multiples, as you can, as you saw in the beginning there. So this one I had to grab. All right, this one's in pretty good shape, actually. Okay, looks in pretty good shape. So this is a this is a good pickup, I believe. Right. Obi Wan and Shang Chi, another one. Okay. That's the other thing about these packs right now. I mean, these, of course, you're getting. You're getting old packs, and that's the whole point behind it. You're getting packs that uh, they already issued, 
and they're repackaging them. So I might be getting a lot of triples and doubles of books because I don't think that I really would seriously doubt that they actually repackage these again. These are probably packs that they had left over in the warehouse or whatnot, and they just repackage them with these with these top books. So if I bought this one before, and I bought this one before, chances are I'm gonna get I might be getting some um, duplicates. Obi Wan. Okay, I like this one. Darth Vader. Uh, this is the variants that they did before that were from movies. I think Chris Sprouse did the, the covers for these. Um, this one's from Last Jedi. I do collect these, this series of covers. So um, I don't have this one, so that's a good pickup for me. Avengers Forever. All right. Cool cover. Second printing. All right. And there's good old Captain Carter. All right, cool. And let's go on the same sheet. All right. Going kind of fast today. Looks like I got to get to going. But I just want to get us out there. All right. My third Shang-Chi. Okay. Oh, oh look. This is a huh, X-Gwen variant for X-Men. So, all right. Different X-Gwen. And, okay, this is kind of cool. I like the design variants. This is a Maestro, World War M. And this looks like this is a Namu and Leonard, which I'm going to guess. I've not read this series, but I'm going to guess this is probably um, Submariner's kid, I'm going to guess. I mean, it could be wrong, but I'll read the story and find out. But Leonard, Leonard and Namu. Cool looking cover. All right. And, of course, another variant. All right, cool, guys. Well, like I said, the good thing about these packs are variants, second printings, um, are running wild in them. So there is a chance to pick up something pretty cool. I, mean, I have gotten that one, uh, 1 in 25 Thor, which um, I was happy to get, and a couple of the really cool books. But, um, all right, well, here's the deal. Like I said, there's a lot out there. <laughs> um, as I pick them up, as I go through, I'll open a couple and see what happens. Um, I'll try to maybe do, like, a bunch at, at a time and maybe put it together in a nice compact form because there's a lot and um i'm gonna stop at some point because like i said this is gonna get pretty expensive um but listen thanks for joining me guys i appreciate it when you go out there take a look like i said seven for ten not a bad deal you might get some some um, really good books that you haven't even thought about picking up you might find there's something that you really really enjoy that you got a really good deal on all right guys i'll talk to you later